Well, I think we're a part of our of of, of our own health care. I mean, we have to be because, yeah. I mean, in a way, they for them to get emotionally attached to you, let's say that's well, they, that's against their yeah their code of conduct or whatever yeah. the the and ethic they, thing they take. So it's not even about that. It's about really just getting them to believe that you really have something going on and that they, that they need to keep at it. They need to keep running these tests. It's not a question of I want my doctor to be my friend or I want my doctor to like me as a person. It's I want my doctor to believe that there really is something wrong here and it's not psychological and please take the extra steps. And, and, I, and I've been fortunate enough to have a few doctors that, that do do that. I'm just not home. I can't, I just can't be oh, there. Yeah. Have you thought, have you looked into where they're doing experimental testing or experimental drugs for this sort of a thing? I mean, are you willing to, to take pills and drugs to kind of help your situation? No, or? I mean, right now I'm only interested in diagnosis. I would, I would, I'm, I'm completely clean and sober now, and I'm not just going to take a drug and see if it works. I, I, right. I'm going to get a diagnosis, and then a, the drug that's associated with the treatment for that, then I'll take it if that's what my diagnosis is. But I'm not just going to run out and start. Well, I guess there still is a trade, though, right? Because you're on the road, and you're trying to make a living and pay bills and whatnot. And yet, so you're on the road so much that you aren't consistently going to one doctor or something. That, yeah. Yeah, so that, yeah. Yeah, it makes it tough, but... um but I mean, I'm, I'm still alive, trade, right? so. Yeah.